What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Three Horns favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Transformers. I think they call them Slug. It's Slag, right? Studio Series Leader Class. This is on loan to me from Paul C. I have a lot of mixed feelings on it. We're gonna talk about those. I know we've been looking at a lot of main line stuff recently, but Paul C. was kind enough to send a bunch to me, so we have a few more to look at. Then we have a couple of third party legends and stuff, and I think we got an expensive piece on Wednesday. So we have a lot coming up, but I, I know there's been a lot of main line stuff. I know that's not a lot of people's bag, but unfortunately, it's kind of like this or nothing sometimes. You know what I mean? So. Luckily, I had a friend with some stuff that was sending me a whole gang of stuff at once and I was able to take advantage of it. So we're going to look at it. Plus, I like Dinobots, right? So we looked at Grimlock. We might as well continue. With that being said, let's take a look at accessories. He comes with this gun, which is actually nicely done. No hollowness and painted with the exception of the handle so it won't scratch when you put it in his hand. Look what you can do, Hasbro. Quite nice. And he can hold it just fine. In alt mode, you can use it underneath the tail and it actually fills out the back of the tail, which is actually pretty thoughtful. The, the, the gold is kind of off-putting, like the contrast and color, but not, not the worst thing I've ever seen. Of course, you can also do this, the kind of typical ridiculous stuff that most Dinobot toys will allow you to do and put it on the shoulder. You can put it on the hip, maybe? No, you can put it back here. Yep, so you can do all sorts of dumb stuff with it if you want to. You get a exosuit. This is their wheelie retool. Um, just as awful. Just as awful. Uh, we have a little bit of green paint there. Tons and tons of hollow bits. Uh, ball pegs here for a little bit of a swivel, basically, and in, in out. And then you get T-jointed ball joints for hips, but no knees. So you can kind of run awkwardly. And that's about it. Pretty, pretty stupid this thing he can ride slag by sort of pegging in awkwardly to these two side pegs here it doesn't look good anyway um and it's a weird sort of connection because like it doesn't go in naturally like a peg it kind of goes in at an angle um but whatever it's fine if you like it i'm sure you'll like it riding him it looks silly it doesn't look good it makes slag look bad because of all the awkwardness here like the, all the hollow bits and all that it just it's it's just no good all right, and let's look at the figure. And the first thing that struck me about this is the proportions seem wonky. Like, the chest is seems too barely, like, it seems, something seems off. Like, I, the legs seem a little short. There's something off about the proportions to this. It struck me as soon as I saw it. As soon as I laid eyes on it, I was like, nope, something's wrong here. But that doesn't mean it's all bad, because it's not. The head is painted. The eyes are painted with a metallic blue and look beautiful. The head is on a ball peg, so you get a little bit up, a little bit down, and a swivel, and the head sculpt looks fantastic. Uh, there's actually a fair amount of paint on this guy. This chest piece is painted. Uh, the hands are painted. The gold here is painted. Uh, this little piece at the waist is painted. The Autobot insignia, I believe, is painted. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll continue on. We have a waist swivel, no issues there. We have universals for shoulders, that gets you up to there. And a little bit past 90 degrees. Ratcheted for the 360 around. Bicep swivel, double hinged elbow. Not a ton of hollow parts, just really at the elbow, I think that's okay. And a wrist swivel. And we got a little bit of paint there on the shoulder. So far, so good. Not Nice sculpted detail. No issues, right? I'm with I'm with you. I'm on board. Same on this side. It's just a proportion thing so far. All right. Then we get the hips. Um, so they're ratcheted, right? But the ratchets are not the best. In fact, they're some of the worst. And as a result, this is another thing too. This backpack has a tendency to kind of come undone like Duran Duran. Um, as a result, you got a lot of play here, and it's not the tightest joint in the world. It's a little bit wibbly-wobbly. Same for the outside side. But they are universals. It's a weird ratchet, but they're there. Full Van Dam. Tensioned out to the side for the full Monty. Thigh swivel, not a lick of paint on the pelvis, and it suffers for it, to be honest. Thigh swivel. Green and blue paint there on the knee that helps the knee a lot. I mean, the the, the but it helps the knee a lot, but it helps the whole thigh a lot. Double jointed knee for the full range. Well, not the full range, but pretty close. Nothing wrong with that. And then we have a nice full calf here, which is nice to see with the Hasbro product. No ankle tilt up or down, but you do get a rocker, and the toes are painted gold. 
which is nice. And then we'll fix this again because this came undone, like Duran Duran. That song is rocking, by the way. And let's see. Oh, yeah. And then there he is from the back. Uh, the tail, they didn't quite know what to do with it, did they? But uh, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's certainly not the best. Uh, and then paint here and there. So it's, it's pretty nice, um, paint-wise. Articulation-wise as well, it's just really a proportion thing that, that kind of throws this off for me. Size comparison-wise, there it is with a Seeker. So I think that's a pretty good size for him. Like, it, it seems right to me. So let's get him transformed. And I got good news for you. The backpack's been dying to become transformed the whole time. So you can just pull that out, so to speak. Spin the waist 180. Now, you can open up this. Flip out your dino legs. Close this back up. That has a little bit of a premium feel too, I'll be honest. Like um not not the not the plastic mind you, but the, just the transformation. Like it seems like this is a nice touch this. I mean, I guess it locks it in place. Um I don't know, something seems nicer to me about it. You can flip out the dino legs or 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 not. We can show you how to um you want to collapse the hip up. And then the back of the dino or the back of the robot leg down. Same on this side. And you can bring this down. Bring this down. And you don't have to do all this yet if you don't want to. Because it might come undone with everybody. I can't remember. And bring the tail down, and the tail will actually grab on, or the uh, there's two notches inside of the the calves that the tail will grab onto. It's just a little tricky. I like it, but it's a little tricky to see it and get it lined up properly. But it does um, do a pretty decent job of securing it, even though they're pretty shallow tabs. All right. There you go. Then you're just left with the upper body. And what we're going to do here is spin the hands, fold them in. Spin the hands 180, fold them in. We're going to, let's see, what do we do here? Pull this piece down. You can open up his chest here, tuck the head in, and then bring the dino jaw up and then collapse and this fixes the proportions right be mindful of these other parts of his crest they're on double hinges and this one is a little ornery but um this fixes the proportion issue right so bring them in bring this up to kind of seal the deal there bring the arms down make sure that the crest is all lined up uh, you can open his mouth if you'd like. And there you have it. His tail came undone. Like Duran Duran, dude. But anyway, I'll clean it up and we'll take a look at it. And there he is in dinosaur mode. Uh, which is fine. Um, I actually, I think it looks pretty good, to be fair. I think that this is a little unsightly. Well, not a little. It's a lot unsightly. It's unfortunate. But, to be fair... If you have him displayed on your shelf, chances are it's going to be from three quarter, one quarter, like um, half, like from, even maybe even from the side, maybe from the front. I doubt you're going to see this, um, but it is unsightly if you have to, depending on your circumstances, which should dictate your actions. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot here. There's the same ratcheted joint there, the same swivel there, which you wouldn't need necessarily. Uh, double hinged knee now back here swivel at the hip and then a knee hinge kind of and then an ankle hinge and the ankle looks a little weird but we do have paint uh we do have sculpted detail like we have a paint accent here there on the tail like it's not it's not awful it's really not uh i think it's actually pretty well done overall which is nice to see bottom isn't the greatest but once again you're not going to see it 
so I'm not really all that worried about it. The metallic blue eyes look fantastic. You know, they should they should learn from their own stuff here and say, oh, maybe we shouldn't do light piping for every figure. And then we have the horns up here. They are hollow, which is unfortunate. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's all right. I think it's pretty good. I really do. There it is next to Grimlock in dinosaur mode. So, you know, on brand, right? And there it is next to Tiger Tracks. Final thoughts wise, let's start with the negatives so that we can end on the positives, of course. And we'll start with that backpack. And it's it's obnoxious. The tail is unsightly. It has a tendency to become unsightly in almost any pose that you put it in this dynamic. The only one that kind of hides it is an A pose. A lot of people do use these guys in A poses, so it may work fine for a lot of you, but it's not the best, especially when getting him in a dynamic pose. It's just like he has like a whole lizard on his back. Terrible lizard, you might say. Or is that Tyrannosaurus? That's Tyrannosaurus, isn't it? And it also has a tendency to come undone like Duran Duran. I know I've made that reference a lot, but it's true true and if you haven't heard the song you should look it up because it's a good song and it was late in their career my man said sign with a home tattoo happy birthday to you <laughs> they were on some anyway um the other thing and that's more of a subjective thing and it's more of my issue may not be for everybody of course subjective and whatnot is there something weird about the robot proportions now when you get them in a dynamic pose i feel like a lot of those problems go away but in the a stance those problems come right back to the forefront so the backpack curses you in a dynamic pose the proportions curse you in an a stance so you kind of lose in both directions and lastly just stop with this <laughs> okay this it's pointless it's silly it's not useful like, it, it doesn't make me feel better about the purchase, even though I didn't purchase it. It wouldn't make me feel better about it had I purchased it. Just stop with that. Enough already. But I think that's it. Positives-wise, though, I actually have a lot to say. I enjoy the transformation. It does some interesting things that we haven't seen a slag do, and we have looked at a lot of slags over the years, right? It has a lot of paint accents. Slag's head, eyes, the eyes for the robot mode as well, the head for the robot mode as well. The hands are painted just to match it up. <laughs> are painted like... It, it has a lot of paint accents. They even painted the weapon. It's also pretty well articulated. Nothing amazing, nothing over the top, nothing to wow you, but pretty much checks all the boxes for standard articulation that you need. The gun is probably one of their best sculpted and painted guns in the Transformer line in years that I've seen. Looks good with Grimlock. Like, if you're in for this line or in for this scale or whatever the case may be, this is a pretty good figure. I recommend it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.